You can actually trace APCs back to AG, Action Group, which was formed by Babaola and Co. when they were in school as Egbeomo Yoruba first. They were in universities in the UK. Bode Thomas and all of those other guys, you know. Action Group became UPN in the 1970s. All right? UPN became SDP in 1992-93 under IBB. That was the platform under which uh, MK Abiola com competed, you know, and uh, contested. Then SDP became AD. It was the same people, the Bolaigis of this world, Baba Desonya and Co, that formed AD in, in, in 1998 into 1999. The AD became AC, AC, and merged with ICPC to become APC. So what are we talking about? You know, now, in the same vein, PDP, you can trace it back to NPC, the Conservative Party of Old, whereas AG was socialist in bent, it was on the left. NPC saw itself as conservatives, and they were a bit on the right. You know, NPC, NCC, you know, the NPC became NPN. They were the same elements that formed NPN. It, no, I mean, excuse me, sir, let me just learn. You know, became NPN in 1977, 78, you know, became um, um, NRC under It was the platform under which TOFA, you know, and NRC became PDP. Now, the problem now is that you can see the collapse of the entire structure. That right now, people who were action group people are finding themselves in PDP. And there seems to be nothing wrong about that. Mm -hmm. And people are just rushing all over the place for money. I mean, the last one we're hearing about, um, uh, Akpabio, who caused, the, who caused the living daylights out of Buhari. Who, who, these were people, we have people like, 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 um, like uh, this guy that's the uh, lacing person to, to Buhari, Itainang, who sponsored a bill on the floor of the Senate that 93% that of this nation's crude oil was in the hand of Fulanis. We were the ones that defended that position then and said it was not true. I wrote articles. Sheikh Badeni wrote articles. Now they are the ones hobnobbing with this uh, the Buhari man. You know, these same people like, uh, like, like a Pabio. It's, it's, it's pathetic. Anyway, listen, that's not our case. That's not our problem. We're suing that these two parties will be registered. So let Nigeria start afresh. That's what we're about, you know. Nigerian youth should know that the problem on their hands is an enormous problem. As a matter of fact, I will tell you that Nigerian youth are really, really struggling. More than the youth elsewhere. I mean, we all, we all have been abroad. Here, Nigerian youth have become the kind of people from the days when they used to lay their beds for them in the universities, they are now the kind of people that will just throw them out and say, look, go and find something to do. You leave university, they say, go and start something, entrepreneurship, great stuff. But how many people succeed in entrepreneurship when there's no even money, no money for people to even purchase the things that you're going to create? How many people are falling by the wayside? People are committing suicide these days. You know what I mean? And you say, Nigerians, you should just go and sort themselves out. Nigerians, you should understand that they are suffering, that their suffering is not necessary, that this suffering, that suffering, all youth of other countries are being assisted, you know, they're being, they're being, they're being lifted up by their, by their governments to do great things. You think Facebook, we, we may hail Facebook, hail Google, hail Amazon, hail all of those people. If they did not get assistance from their government to tap into, look, people like Google had to work directly with CIA. Facebook allegedly worked with CIA. The guy that took Facebook to the million uh, um, membership stuff, you know, Sean Parker, the guy, he, he only got up to from four, 10th grade. And he was so good in coding and all of that, the CIA recruited, you can see it, it's on Google. These were boys who, they were, they were assisted by their own government. Of course, you know that every of these things that we use were first tested by the US military before they said, okay, now it's safe enough to release it to the people. So here we are, we can, we can admire all of those people. We're not assisting our own people. That's why there's this Igbo guy, I forgot his name now, that sold an app to, uh, is, it, is it Google? Yeah, for, for a billion dollars. You know, the guy is in the US. You know, so here we are. I mean, we have an irresponsible government, perennially irresponsible. I'm not talking about the guys that are there now only. The ones that were there before were equally irresponsible. And the youth of this country must know that they, they are the ones that will create that which they want to see. Nobody will create it for them. That which you want to see in a government, that which you want to see in your people, that you, which you want to see in your nation, you will have to create it. That which you want to see in your politics and your economics, you will have to create it. And that's why we're here. Well, let me take it further quickly. We witnessed what happened to some other, I mean, new aspirants in their own party recently, uh, just a day ago, where they said some money bags went to hijack their party to towards their dreams of you know, coming out to emerge also. 
And those are alternatives, including you, that we are looking at as alternative for 2019. Was that what you had in mind when you created ANRP? Did you create ANRP because you knew you were going to run? No, no. Or did your well, okay. come after? It's after no, no. My aspiration came before, all right? I was one of the first few people who had the vision. Look, I got tired of Buhari's government one day because, indeed, I must tell you, yes, I supported him greatly in 2015. I did a lot. But at some point in time, after six months, no minister, nobody knew where we were going. And I, I live in Abuja. I do my business in Abuja. I saw that nepotism grew big time. I mean, these guys were putting their own children in CBN, in FRS, in all of those good places. And ah, it seemed as if... It didn't matter. They were pushing their children into NMPC, and then the children of the poor were suffering. And even it was even they, they, they have become even less professional than they were under Jonathan. Certainly under Yaradua. Certainly under 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 Obasanjo. Nigeria has been going downhill. They say they are chasing corruption. It's a joke. They are not chasing any corruption. I, I, I did an article recently which I actually chronicled different types of corruption. All right. If you check Premium Times. The kind of new corruption, frauds that's going on now, even in the civil service. And equally, even in the private sector. Nigeria is now running a get rich or die trying kind of society where people are just, I mean, when you say that, go and do anything of your own, you to do anything of their own. That's why you go to, in Lagos here now, you know, go to Lekki, go to all of the mainland, you see it starts pursuing young boys up and down. Even the one that is not doing Yahoo Yahoo, they, are, they arrest them. They arrest them, they harass them, they take you to your ATM and empty your account. The other time, these same SARS people went, they, they went and jacked one pastor. They said the guy is called, uh, uh, doing the fake miracle. I don't know who gave them the information. They took him to his bank and we, they got him to transfer 7 million naira to the account of one of them. Is, is that not a criminal society? In that kind of society, you say you want to bring tourists here, you want to bring foreign investors, you want those who have traveled to come back into this country. It's a joke. You know, so, okay, so what the whole idea is I got tired with all of that. And one day in November 2016, I said, hey, I'm going to get involved in 2019. I will contest for that election. I will be, I'll go and be president. <laughs> and a lot of people took it serious. Yeah, 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 this is not a bad idea. Mm, fine. I don't, I don't rely on those things. You know, but I'm thinking on my own. I know what I want to achieve. Right? So I then wrote one article. I said, the strategy. And the strategy is, look, having looked at, I want to get to be president, I have great ideas that I want to mainstream. Ordinarily for me, it's not a big deal. I can be, I may not be, right? I'm going to, I'm going to do this with a smile on my face. I'm not going to stab anybody in the back just because I'm looking for power. Those who have got the power before, what they, what they achieve with it, right? So I said, look, we're going to do this, all right? But we can't go and join APC or PDP, so we need to have a new party. And then on that party platform, what we will do uh, what we'll do on that part platform, platform is that if we can get different people from different places, a lot of young people, mm. Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, everybody, come and contest on this platform. Of course, mm. you know, not only one person is thinking about an idea. So we put in that, that idea. And um, if we had all of these people competing together, and then we can now have a great debate, and that debate will be very robust. And mm. Nigerians, you know, you can seize the minds of Nigerians by that. The point now today is that nobody is ready for that debate. Hmm. So we now, we now put that in place. I said, okay, this is how it's going to work. It was after doing that that I now went to INEC. Hmm. Not really nobody knew the name of the party until I went to INEC. I went to INEC because this is politics. And in politics, you have to be careful. You don't play all your cards all at once. So I went to INEC. We, read, we started with the registration of the name. Ordinarily speaking, even in INEC, they didn't give us a chance. The, f the first letter we did to them, it took, uh, it took seven weeks for them to reply the first letter. They definitely wasted our time. I had to kneel down for people before they gave us this, this thing mm. in INEC. The small, small people you see there, they are powerful. Mm. Say, Madam, please, please. I've been going around. Our logo, they bounced our logo. We took almost 200 different logos to INEC before they say, hey, this is the one we have been telling you about. Before we could get this logo with this computer in, you know, I, had to, we had, I was frustrated. Everybody in the ANRP Red Network, a lot of people were, I, I called, look, give us ideas of logos. They were giving us different ideas of logos. We were taking it there. They were saying, no, somebody has used this one before. No, we cannot approve this one. No, this one is this. You know, until one day I started, I said, what actually distinguishes us? We started on the internet. We started on Facebook. We're a tech-based party. We're savvy people. I said, okay, what represents technology? We're a tech party. All right, so I Googled technology and went to the image and it was only computers that showed. And you know, this leaf that we have inside is the, the thing that we wanted to use initially, which they said we can't use. 
we wanted to use that sprouting new leaf, a new plant, something that, look, this thing can grow and become something. They said, no, somebody had used a tree before. I said, but this is not a tree. They said, well, there is a tree. They said, okay, if it's that one, look at this, this orange. There's a party that uses orange, and there are three leaves around the orange. They said, look at this one. You are going to confuse our voters with this. So we had to step down. So we now brought this computer and put the leaf inside the, the computer. So that, in a way, the computer represents that we are the party that will connect Nigeria to the future. Some people are carrying broom up and down. Some are carrying umbrellas. What are you with? The umbrella, you can't even manufacture in your own country. Yes, the broom you can manufacture, you can go and get a raffia palm and all of that. Imagine, dark ages. If anybody wants to become anybody in this world today, you need a computer. All right, but we have that. But even this plant we have retained because we're not forgetting where we're coming from. So that was how NRP was started. Of course, by the time you start calling people in, all sorts of people will come. You're going to have problems with some and all of that. But you have to keep your head and just ensure you keep your focus. Of course, I've not said anybody should not compete with me, but I know that I was going to do this. But I, I kept my ambition on hold for more than one year. That is why some people, I go to some people, oh, hey, we're not seeing you on TV. I can't be gallivanting around on TV like people who don't have parties. I'm sorry to say. Some people, you don't have a party. You can't be at the mercy of people. You have to be strategic. You mentioned some people now who, who are saying that they were 419 in the parties that they went. You know, you have to, look, before you say, I want to be president, that's the, that's the biggest position in the land. You don't expect that somebody's going to allow you to walk, is a walk in the park and you just have a stroll. No, it's not going to happen. People are going to cut you down. That's just the way life is, you know? So you, you have to think well and say, okay, how do I get there? How do I achieve this thing? Right? So, you, you know, blame me, you know, say whatever you want. Anybody can say whatever they want. The point is that, look, it's about strategy. If you want to go for the number one position in the country, you have to be strategic. And strategy I had. So, yes, this was there, but I said, listen, anybody can compete with me. So I kept my ambition on hold for more than a year while another aspirant on that party came up. I was financing the, most of the, a lot of things in the party. I am the biggest financier of the party, by God's grace. It's not like it's a lot of money, but hey, if I don't have to wait for people to come and contribute to Tutu Naira before we pay something that's statutory. If you have a statutory thing to pay, you need to rent an office, you need to furnish the office, you need to do this, you need to get staff. I was paying all, all most of those money. You know? And somebody who hadn't actually done much for the party started to say, look, he wants to be a presidential aspirant. And I said, okay, this is what exactly I want. And after I'm talking to you now, we want more aspirants. Because in our party, our dream is that before these aspirants will go forward, we're going to have a great debate. Our own debate is going to be like the American. In fact, in the article that I wrote to explain this, I actually went online and I got the picture of one of the pictures of maybe the Republican debate, you know, the way they set it and all these guys wearing their suits and, you know, really looking good and so on. I said, we can do this. And this is the way to, to, to go, you know. So that's the thing. So now I'm actually putting it in play. I'm putting it in play now. I'm putting it in play now that, look, okay, this thing that I've been talking about, yes, I think I've, I've, I've seen the party to a certain extent. Now I'll be going on a certain kind of uh, leave of absence for two or three months, you know, pending when we're going to round up our, our what's it called, after the, uh, the, the primaries. And then, you know, and then, and then, you know, let's go and do that. If I win the primaries, great. If I don't, I come back and continue to be the chairman. And I'm going to serve for only one time, after which I'm done. Let me ask you here. What if somebody sponsors, you know, a totally new person? To that's come, what, I'm, that's what know, I'm saying. How do, the party with new people. Okay, it's possible. We, we that would be great. Let me tell you how, let me tell you. Okay, <laughs> see, 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 my brother, you know what? People have to be systems-minded. Uh, eh, brother, ah. <laughs> um, it's not easy, man. You know, but listen. Somebody gives me five Wait, million. Say, how much on, is five million? Go on, billion, I mean. And do, do, do what? Mobilize people into the ANR. We will see the throw, money. Throw I would, I would the, gladly, you know, I would, I would leave for the. Listen, you know what? I would, I would just dollars. let them, let him do that. You know what I'll do? I would remain in the party. I would take my chances. And if the person, if he can bring five billion naira, ANRP will be everywhere. That person is likely going to be a president. If he brings five billion naira into ANRP, and I'm saying it to the camera, if he brings five billion naira, we're going to see the money there. All of the, basically, we are owing in all of the states. You see us in every ward. We will spend that money in the most accountable manner. This is a party where we do no, account. Wait, excuse it, me. Excuse me. No, wait, just don't worry. We're going to see the money because you cannot register someone in the party except you pay the little change to the, to the party. We're going to see the change that you pay to the party. They are going to, by paying that change, they are members of the party. As they are members of the party, they can vote. And it is, look, we do direct, direct primaries. We don't do all these uh, delegate something. 
for now, we have the capacity to say everybody that is a member, a paying member, can vote. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we are going to even look at the possibility of doing electronic voting for our primaries. That even those who are, you know, anywhere else, even though INEC doesn't like to hear uh, that your members are abroad, but uh, Nigerians are Nigerians, right? People, even all of our people who are abroad, they also, they also come to Nigeria. They come to Nigeria, they stay, they go back abroad, they do something, they come back. So they are Nigerians. We want to do it that no matter where you are within Nigeria, we can do it such that no matter where you are within Nigeria, you can vote on that day and say, look, you don't, this stockpile that is contesting, I don't like his face, I prefer this other guy, I'm a paying member, then so be it. So look, we are waiting for those people, those people who can hijack parties. Let me tell you, something we have grown organically. You know, I have all the confidence, I have all the confidence that for now, I brought, listen, you know why I have the confidence is that we have about 53,000 people in the party. There are other people who are also chipping in, you know, but you know, because I'm the center, if there's something going on in Baochina or something coming up in Casino, I say, oh God, please send something, I'll have to shoot. You don't begin to pursue all of those kind of things, right? You know, and then you have to ensure that the head office is, is functioning. You know, so in terms of finance, um, yeah, of course, you know, again, we're crowdfunded. That, that means that, um, you know, every once in a while, you know, people send in uh, money or sometimes we call for people to donate and all of that. Though, of course, you know, we went to Ekiti, you know, we did the crowdfunding. Uh, we learned a bit of lessons. We're going to be a lot let more me, stricter. Come in there. Yeah, why, I know you want to hear about Ekiti. No, no, no. Ekiti, well, like, of course, I know is the litmus test. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, We're going that. to assure but as well. I want well. to also, as 2019, of course, you have lessons from Ekiti. Yeah. So it goes to show that you need a lot of fund to, no, well, to no, even well, mobilize your members. I mean, to I mean, well, members. you know. But why didn't you join CUPP? I mean, oh, no, never, never, never. I mean, hey, uh, what's that CUPP? We, we looked at the list, we saw there was PDP there. We, we freaked out. Our friends who are political party chairmen as well, you know, and uh, I know some of the things that's going on in there. You know what I mean? So CUPP is, is dominated by, by PDP. And um, to a large extent, you know, they didn't even do it as a proper coalition where a coalition should be that, okay, if, I'm, if I bring president, you bring VP, you bring secretary to government, you bring this. That would have been more honorable. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of people went there, you know, behaving as if uh, they were hungry. So, when, look, we, we, we prefer, eh? We prefer to keep our dignity than to go into any funny coalition at all. You know, so that's the way we're going to play it. And in terms of finance, we're going to continue to do the crowdfunding. Sometimes we get lucky. Even my personal campaign, you know, I'm beginning to reach out a little bit. A lot of people aren't taking me serious, right? I mean, our friends who are make, doing it as if, whatever, some will maybe just give you one, one kind of token. It's fine. But you know what? I, I, I give them a promise, you know, because I'm going to shock them. I'm going to shock the world. I'm going to shock this country. I you know, it. just watch how this plays out because, hey, I'm standing on integrity and God is by my side. I believe in you.